Good morning! Halika, magkapi tayo! Welcome to the Morning Coffee with Father Jerry. Our text for today is from the Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 56. It says, In those days, Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zachariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard of Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me? That the mother of my Lord comes to me. For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the loneliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has come, has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear Him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with His arm. He has scattered the proud in their thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. And Mary remained with her about three months and then returned to her home. Now the time came to, for Elizabeth to give birth and she bore a son. Thus far, is the reading for today's Gospel Reflection. Today, it's the feast day of uh, the visitation. The visitation of the Blessed Virgin to her cousin Elizabeth. So again, we ask our the guiding question. What is it for us? What is God's message for us through this text today just read. Humility is the acceptance of who you are and graciously pointing to God who is the source of everything that is good in us. So this is precisely why the Blessed Virgin is an example of humility. She did not hesitate to embrace her being among blessed or blessed among women because she knew that the baby in her womb is from God. In fact, the Son of God. She was blessed or blessed among women not because of her personal endowment, but what God gave her. A gift freely 
embraced. That is why her song of thanksgiving, the Magnificat, that's the gospel today, is a song of praise. A song of praise to God who was gracious to her, both humble and daring. All people will forever call her blessed because God has done great things to her. Mary was confused, afraid, and reeling after this encounter. She didn't know what to make of it and she desperately needed to talk with someone she trusted. A person who would take her seriously and listen to her story. Thus, she decided to go and visit Elizabeth. After all, Elizabeth also had a very unusual experience. She found that she was with a child, even though she was far beyond the age of having children. Perhaps Elizabeth could help Mary make sense of all that was happening in her life. Mary must have been very confused and frightened. What would her parents think and other people? What would the townspeople think when they realized that she was pregnant? Imagine the riot of emotions that were in Mary's mind and heart. Thus, she needed somebody to open up to. She needed somebody to listen to her story. The visitation of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth is a special encounter where two people meet. Mary was carrying God within her and they brought joy to Elizabeth and John within her. Every time we meet another person, we bring God to each other. It does also bring joy when we encounter or come to visit other people in our lives, not just our relatives and friends. But the point here, here is Every time we make visit, visit to people, either close to us or some people who have been, we have not seen for a longer time, this encounter is something special. Something, it is a meeting which is very memorable for each one of us. But without our knowing it, every time, we meet or visit or talk to someone, a long-time friend. Every time we meet at the moment, it's always the story of the Bible. a special time for each one of us. But the most important thing is every time we meet people along the way, we always bring to them some kind of good news. We bring to them some kind of special blessings. We bring to them some kind of some kind of presence. Presence. Presence of each one of us, but the more important thing is we bring to them presence of God. Every time we meet another person, we bring God to each other. Let us also bring joy each other. Like Mary rejoiced because God has looked upon her. Let us rejoice that God has looked also upon us. Think of the gifts received, beginning with the first and the greatest gift of salvation. As our challenge, one of my experiences while I had my while I was having my renewal program and special studies. Every morning, 
my classmates coming from different countries in Asia, especially. Every morning I observe, especially classmates, priests, mga madre coming from other places. Every morning they greet each other, namaste. And even until now, even in movies. And I was wondering, it was my first time, it was, it was so foreign to me, the term namaste. So I asked one of my classmates from uh, Malaysia, Father Joseph. Father Joseph, what's the meaning of namaste? And he said to me, Father Jerry, that is something sacred for all of us, especially people coming from the Asian countries, because the meaning of namaste is the God in me greets the God in you. Good morning. Namaste. The Allah in me greets the Allah in you. The Buddha in me greets the Buddha in you. And that very moment when I finally understand the exact meaning of that, oh my goodness, because I used to laugh every morning when I see them greeting each other. But that moment when I understand the whole thing, oh my goodness, I really had to say to myself, I am sorry. I misunderstood their gestures. So it's a good thing that every time we meet somebody, we express ourselves. The Christ in me greets the Christs in you. Namaste. Father Jerry, Namaste. The God in me greets the God in you. Namaste. Okay? So, let's remember that, that visitation is something so special and important for each one of us, because we need them. Okay? Let us pray. Lord Jesus, allow us to emulate and imitate the life of the Blessed Virgin, and Elizabeth to be our model in the life of sharing in your church, that aside from the questioning faith of Mary, she gave her all, in obedience to your will and so with her cousin elizabeth let our life be a life committed in the service of your people everywhere in let me be an instrument of your love to your church we ask this in the name of jesus our lord amen okay so paano to mga kapatid good morning ulit don't forget to finish your coffee And see you tomorrow.